Hey guys, my name is Fazan Khan. So, have you ever wondered why Python is such a fun language? Because it helps us to create so many amazing things using just few lines of Python code. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a digital clock using Python. Okay? So, firstly, I'm going to create a new Python file. I'll give main as the name of my Python file. By the way, I'm using PyCharm as an editor where I'm writing my code. You can use any editor of your choice. So first of all, I need to create a GUI window. So for creating GUI in Python, we have an inbuilt module or library you can say, which is tkinter. So we just need to import it. So the way here is from tkinter import asterisk. After this, we just need to write two lines for creating our GUI window. So first line is we need to create object of the TK class. So I'll give object variable name as root. Next line is we need to use one of the method of this TK class which is main loop. So this method simply keeps our window on a loop so that we can see it continuously. So these two lines are enough for a window to be created. So if I run this code, you can see we got our window. After that, we can set the title. So as you see, the by default title is TK. We can change it. Again, we have a method inside this class. We can use that. So root dot title. And here we can pass the title in the form of a string. Digital clock like this. So if I run this, you can see now we have the title digital clock. If I expand it, you can see the title is changed here. Okay, now we need to display the time here, right? So how can we display the time? So we can display the time on a label. So firstly, we have to create a label and on that we will simply display the time. So for creating a label, we have a label class present inside this tkinter module and where you want this label, first thing we have to mention that we want this label in our window, right? And window name here is root. Okay, after that, we will mention what will be the font for our text that will be displayed inside it. So the font is and then we will mention the size. So size I'm going to give as 80. This will be the font size. After that, you can set the background color. So BG is nothing but the background and I'll set the background as black okay and then we can set the text color so the text color is nothing but FG which I'll set to cyan okay and then I'll simply run this code but you won't be able to see this label right now okay the reason is because we have uh, not provided any text to this label so for instance let me just add some text here okay like hello now if I run it, still you won't be able to see this label because we have just created a label but we have not placed it on our window. So in order to place it, we use this pack method. Okay. And here we will simply uh, put this label in the center. Okay. So anchor equals to center like this. So now if I run it, you will see this hello text in the center like this okay but we do not have to display this hello text we have to display time here right so in order to display time we firstly need to import one module which is also inbuilt so the way is from time import strf time okay so this is nothing but a function okay which will help us to display time to get the current time okay so what i'm gonna do i'm simply going to create a function here def time or timer whatever you choose like this and then inside this function i will firstly create a variable inside which our time will be stored so uh, this strf time function simply returns the time in the form of a string and that i'm going to store inside this string variable okay and to this strf time method we have to pass the format of our time 
so firstly we want the hours so percent h for hours then minutes so percent m for minutes then seconds so percent s for seconds okay and after that we also want am or pm so for that we just have to use this percent p like this so this will give us the time in the string and that will be stored inside this string variable now we need to display this time on our label right so instead of displaying hello we will display the time which is inside this string variable right so what i'm going to do i'm going to firstly create object of this class in order to use methods of it so i'll give object variable name as label okay and then i will simply call this pack method with the help of this label object so i'll cut from here and i'll use this label object dot pack method like this okay and now coming back to our timer function so in order to update the text of this label okay we have to use this label object variable so i hope now you are clear why i have created this variable so that i can use one of the method of this label class okay which is config in this case okay and here we will simply update the text so the text here would be the time which is stored inside this string variable like this so now if i run it you won't be able to see anything i hope you can understand that this timer function is not yet called okay so we need to call this timer function so just after creating this label i'll call this timer function like this okay now if i run it again you can see the time but this is constant the seconds are not changing the minutes are not changing okay so in order to do the change here what i will do just after adding the text on the label i will call this timer function again and again after every one second okay so what i'll do i'll use this label dot after method okay and here i will i will have to pass a uh, time which will be in milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is nothing but one second and after one second i will call this timer function again okay so after every one second timer function will be called and you will see the updated time on this label right so now if i run it we are getting error here because we don't have to pass these parentheses here we just have to pass the function name like this now if i run it you can see the seconds are changing right and similarly the minutes will change okay so i hope you understood this so that's it for this video i hope you liked it don't forget to like this video and thank you for watching